Hey our friends, so you're going to be drawing a fold-in surprise present. Yeah, a scary present. We hope you're going to follow along with us. I really like the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. I like that it's about Christmas, but also scary, yeah. uh, about Halloween. So we're going to do a drawing that's kind of like that, where it's cute when it's folded up, but then when you open it, it's scary. Yes. We hope you're going to follow along. You need a marker or something to draw with. Some and paper and something to color with. Yeah, let's start. Okay. We're first going to fold our paper. Let's take the top edge and fold it in half, fold it down to the bottom, line it up, and once you've got it lined up, you can hold it down. Okay, this is, <laughs> it's taking me a little bit longer to line that up. Crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. Okay, now we're gonna take this top flap, fold it back up to the top, and crease it down. Then flip your paper over, and we're gonna take the top flap and repeat that same step. Fold it up to the top and crease it down. Then take that last fold and unfold it, flatten it out. This will just be a guide fold for us. Then we're gonna flip our paper back over. When you're all done, it should open up like this. Next, we're gonna put a scratch piece of paper underneath our drawing paper. It doesn't have to be red. It can be whatever color or scratch paper that you have laying around your house or classroom. Now we're ready to draw. Next, we're gonna draw our present. Now half of the present will be above this fold and the other half will be below. So first, let's draw the side of our present coming down. So we're gonna start above and then cross over the fold. Then we're gonna turn it into the letter L. We'll draw the bottom of the letter L. Now I'm gonna start up here because it's a little easier to draw this way over the fold and we're gonna draw the right side of our present coming down and connecting to the bottom. Then we can connect the top two lines together. That's the general shape of our present. You could really change this shape. It could be a circle. It could, you could really make it into any shape you want. You could also add as many details to your present. Let's add ribbon. We're gonna draw two lines coming right down the middle. This is the ribbon wrapping around the outside of our present. Then we can draw a little knot on the top for the bow. And then we can draw the bow sticking out to the side and then connecting down to the top of the present. And let's repeat that same shape on the other side. We could also add little wrinkles in the bow, two little short lines coming out of the knot. Let's also add the ribbon or the end of the ribbon that's coming out to the side. So we'll draw a little curve coming out and then we could draw a sideways V and then connect it back into the box. Now I use the same curve right there so it matches. And then we can repeat that same step over here. Draw a long curve, then a sideways V and a short curve going back into the present. We did it, we finished our present. Oh, let's add eyes to our present, cartoon eyes. We're gonna okay. draw a circle on the left and a matching circle over here on the right. Yeah, just like that. And then we can also add a highlight, smaller circle inside to make the eyes look shiny. There you go. And then we'll color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, now we're gonna add one more line on our drawing. I'm gonna add a mouth. We're gonna draw a line straight across. Now, th that line was below the fold, so I'm gonna repeat that same line, but draw this one on top of the fold. That way, when you open it up, you can see a straight line up here and also down here at the bottom. Go ahead and open it up and then flatten out your drawing. This is really cool. Half of our present is up here at the top and half of it is down at the bottom. This center part is where we're going to draw all of the scary stuff. Yeah. Now we want to make sure that we draw below the top fold. So below that part and above the bottom fold. That way when we fold it up, it's hidden. All the scary stuff is hidden inside. Let's first draw the scary teeth. Now you guys could draw scary teeth any way you want. Let's draw first a W, a really long W up here. This is kind of like our cupcake monster. Yeah. 
We're gonna draw another V, a curved V over here, and just keep going until you get to the very end of the present. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the right side, but I'm curving them the other direction. Let's repeat that same step, but flipped upside down. We're gonna draw an M, curved M for the bottom teeth in the middle, and then we can repeat those same shapes, upside down Vs, all the way to the end, and we'll do the same thing over here. Now let's draw the tongue, a super scary tongue. I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna curve this way, and then back around like this, and then I'm gonna curve like that, really. <laughs> you could curve that any way you want, actually. And then let's draw the other side of the tongue. So I'm gonna come out this way, curve around. Oh, yes, that's scary to me. <laughs> uh, I would not wanna open up a present and see that come out. Now let's make the tongue look 3D. We're gonna add curves to the tongue. We're gonna make the tongue striped, kinda like a candy cane. So I'm gonna draw the curves going this way. Then when you come down here, you could actually curve them going the other direction. Whoa, and then look at this. They're gonna get really big going this way. And then when you get to the teeth, you can imagine the stripes going behind the teeth to make it look more 3D. You did it, good job, Jack. That looks really cool. Then let's draw the back of the mouth. We're gonna draw a line right here that connects down to the tongue. We'll imagine it going behind the tongue and connecting down here to the bottom. Let's do another line on the outside of that or the inside, whichever one works best. That makes it look thicker on the mouth. Then we can do that same thing over here I'm gonna start on the outside, we'll curve down, and then connect down here at the bottom. And then we can draw the other line right next to it. Let's add one more thing to our present. Let's add more ribbons that actually look like his arms, or her arms. We're gonna draw a curve, it comes up, and then back down like that. Let's draw another curve right next to it that matches, maybe smaller. And then right here at the bottom, let's draw a upside down V to connect. Doesn't that look like the end of the ribbon? Yeah. But it kind of looks like a claw too. It does. Now uh, let's do another one like that, except up here above the tongue. You wanna make sure that you draw below this top fold. Okay, let's add another curve. I'm gonna use overlapping to make it look more 3D. Like that, and then we'll draw upside down V to connect those two lines. You could add as many of these ribbons as you want. I'm gonna add another one right here. Maybe our present has lots of arms, ribbon arms coming out. And then maybe another one over here too. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> And, okay, one more. We're gonna add another one over here. <laughs> Jack, we did it! We finished drawing our present monster. But we still need to color it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you wanna use our drawing as inspiration for your drawing. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our present monster. It looks awesome. And we also added this little circle around the eyes just to make them look even cuter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show our friends what's inside. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Rawr! <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or you can color them any way you want. Yeah, you could add different colors. You could also add even more details. I used a white colored pencil to add highlights on top of the markers, but you can use whatever art supplies you have at home or in your classroom. 
could even paint this. Ooh, that would be cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your present monster. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take time to add extra details to the inside of your folding surprise. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you could turn this into a puppet too. Yeah. That would look really cool. Rawr. Rawr.